Tell me, Dr. Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. for humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. I like the sounds of that. It sounds like a cult. Definitely sounds like a cult. I didn't even realize there was a drop there. I just sort of cheesed it because I don't think I can kill that thing. Not without the rockets. I don't know, maybe if I tried hard enough. It was fucking me up though. I go. What the f Oh, it's another one of those things. What is it? It's angry, that's for sure. there. Uh oh. Am I gonna like where I'm going? Whoa, what is this shit? those things. I haven't seen those yet.
Oh man, I'm up high. Am I being taken all the way to him? Taken to a loading screen is where I'm being taken. No, oh, I like that. I'll take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Hey. Until you know he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. You bitch. Inhabited by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. Oh, well, that's gonna bite him in the ass. How did you, Doctor? First, you lead me straight to the doorstep of it. my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? I think he's losing his mind. The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can't do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey. Dad. Gordon? No. God damn eh. you, bring you let her go. Well, that's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or... Will you give your child the chance her mother never had? How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. If that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. I was spinning. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn Hello. for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. What are you, you talking about, dude? Stage. You don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends? I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. <sighs> Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. Oh. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. But Guards. Why now? If they know you betrayed them, they'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Hurry! Dad, hang on. Oh no. He's got the doohickey. Watch out, he's gonna. No. Oh god, what'd he do? Dad. 
No! The gravity gun. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Are you going to tell me why? I'm not saying goodbye. Why you've done all this? And why now you've chosen to side with us? Let's go. That's my girl. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well, thanks for coming after me. I thought I was going after hey, Dr. Listen. Brain, but sure, let's go with that. That's him. There he is. Oh, all right, damn it. That's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind me. Motherfucker, let me in. Damn it, not again. You bastard. The gravity gun. <laughs> he doesn't have a clue, does he? I wonder where he's going. You gonna ask me what happened to it? No? Well, I don't know anyway. Oh my god. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. I am going to launch him into space with this goddamn thing. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't Time to fuck shit up. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve, apart from your own annihilation. Don't listen to him, Gordon. I warned you this was futile. <laughs> ah, that thing right there. Started his ascent. Okay. Hurry, Gordon. 
before he escapes. Man, why is this shit so clear? I could have told you that was pointless, Dr. Freeman. Go, Gordon! Are you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. If only you had harnessed your boundless energy for a useful purpose. I'm insulted by that. Said your farewells. Going to die, yep. Walk. What the hell? Oh no, combine soldiers. Where did they come from? I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve apart from your own annihilation. Don't listen to him, Told you that was pointless, Dr. Freeman. Go, Gordon! Are you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. If only you had harnessed your boundless energy for a useful purpose. Below. No! You leave me. <laughs> yeah. What 
did I do? Did it. I did. Come on, Gordon. We've got to get out of here. Maybe we still have. Uh. Time, Doctor Freeman. G man. Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <gasps> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. You got back here and explain yourself, J-Man. What? Well, that was Half-Life 2. Ah, uh, lots of fun. Fuck me, did this session actually take four hours? Wow. Man, I don't normally go that long. <laughs> I usually go three hours max. Well, I'll leave you all with the credits. Lamar? Lamar! Huh? What's this? Where did she get to? Yo, my head. Well, that was Half-Life 2. It's definitely a classic. I can't believe it took me till now to play it. Uh, let's see, what am I gonna do next? I might play half. I might play Lost Coast, and there's also episode one and two. Yeah, I will see you all next time. <laughs>